and those results will be whether people can move around the neighborhood. People are terrorized today. Will seniors be able to do groceries? Will people who are in marginalized communities, black, indigenous, Jewish, will they be able to get out and, and be safe on their streets? Will uh, men and women be able to take our transit with masks on without being harassed? Every single day we hear more and more accounts of people who, you know, it's just that it's the magnitude of the individual threats uh, in the surrounding neighborhood uh, by thugs, really, you know, traveling in groups of two to ten that really are terrorizing the people in our downtown. We've got two fronts here. We have got what's happening on the hill, on Parliament Hill in that parliamentary precinct, uh, which is a mockery, really, of our, of our governments. And then we have very serious occurrences happening every single day that are terrorizing a neighborhood. And we've got, again, a federal government, a provincial government, and a city government that cannot defend or will not defend one residential neighborhood. And, uh, and people really are uh, asking uh, why that is. Do you, what, what's going to happen when this comes to an end, as all things do, what is going to happen in terms of accountability for the chief of police, for the mayor, for the premier, and perhaps even for the prime minister? Because if the capital of the country is held by a group of a few hundred people, um, someone surely has to take responsibility, Councillor. Absolutely. I think all of us who are elected, certainly, to represent people, in whether it's the country, or the province, or the, the city, uh, will be answerable to a public that, uh, you know, will, uh, this will not heal easily. People are uh, traumatized by this, uh, not just not just in center town, uh, across the city, across the country, as people watch what's happening, it's, uh, it's very difficult to process how our institutions can be so uh, 